I was teaching a class, and somebody said, okay. And I said, and somebody said, why is it that when you ask, I asked somebody, are you, feeling, are, you feeling, are you feeling sad or frustrated? And the person said, no, I'm not. I said, okay, that's fine. But I said, ah, if every time somebody tells you, am I feeling fine, you just say that's fine. What are the people who are lying? I said, that's the problem with happiness literature, happiness research. You know, emotions can only be self-reported. And, and therapists know this. You, you can know that the person is lying, but until the person says that they are feeling something, you can't, you can't say it for the person. You can't say it for the person. And there are so many people who are going around lying that they are happy when they are not, lying to themselves and lying to others. And I said to that person, I said, unfortunately, all we can do is encourage people to be vulnerable enough to be honest about what they feel. And of course, I know it's tough. I know it's tough because there are emotional vampires everywhere trying to suck your vulnerability. I know. But we're not talking about them. We're talking about you. Um, and so you have to learn to acknowledge what you are feeling, to report what you're feeling, to be truthful to what you're feeling. And those of us that want to help those around us, we need to learn how to build frames of trust. Now, some people have been so scarred that they cannot trust unless people treat them in a certain way. If you can afford to treat them in that way, then do that. If you can't, then just wait. You can't force a person to get the emotional help. You just wait and say, I'll be here. I will continue to try my best to create a frame of trust. But until a person decides to report their own emotional state, you can't and shouldn't force them. You shouldn't. Um, we just need to be able to create, and that's why we do some of this, that's why I do these videos. We need to create the environment for people to be honest, to take the risk of being vulnerable, um, to be truthful about what they feel, and to do the work of transforming what they feel. And the rest of us that want to help them, all we can do is invest in trust so that when they feel it, they can say it.